Hi everybody and welcome to our art class for today. Today is African Animals art class number five and we are drawing a zebra. So let's get started. I have my pencil and my eraser and then I have my markers. So we're going to start out with step number one, which is drawing a circle. So here we go. There we go. I'm going to erase any lines I don't want anymore. Okay. So there's my circle. Next, I'm going to draw two curves down, like shoulders. Okay. And then I'm going to draw another curve and another curve. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a line across, but not all the way. Now I'm going to make the inside of the legs go, whoop, it's almost like part of a, a rectangle. Okay. Next we're going to draw a copy of the leg next to it. And I'm going to actually make the back rounder. It is always okay to adjust. So I draw the line I like, get rid of the lines I don't. There we go. Fix this a little bit too. Let's go curve it back in, curve it back in. Okay, so there's my zebra body. So that's step number two. Okay. Almost looks a little bit more like a turtle, but we'll we'll make it work. Step number three is drawing. Well, we already do the back legs, but now we're gonna draw the, the nose bit of the zebra. So we're just gonna make an oval or an egg shape right at the bottom of our head. Step number four, we're going to draw ears. These are like those lemon shapes or those football shapes or eyeball shapes, whatever you want to call them. And I'm just going to start at the edge of the head and then draw my lemon shape. The other way you could do it is draw the full lemon shape like that and then erase the bits you don't want. Okay. So next... We're going to draw the inside of the ears. We're going to draw our nostrils. Those are the holes where they breathe their nose. The eyes. Okay. And then we also need to draw the tail. Oop, I just do a rectangle. Kind of like a paintbrush shape at the end. One second, guys. My kitty is making a bunch of racket. Okay. Okay, sorry about that guys, my kitty was being very loud. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw my stripes for my zebra, and we're just gonna do stripes across the face. And I'll color those in with marker. And then we're also gonna do stripes across the bo body. Here's a helpful hint. Curve those lines up and around. Okay, and then I'm going to make lines on his foot because these are going to be his like hooves. Okay. 
I'm going to color in those stripes. There we go. So now let's get ready to color in our zebra. I'm going to use my black marker. Okay, my black marker. And I'm going to outline first. So I'm going to outline my head shape. And my nose shape. Top of my head. Color in that stripe. I still want to be able to see my eyes, so that's why I'm going to go around my eyes. There we go. So now I'm going to outline the ears. Sorry guys, if you can hear my dog, she's sitting right under my desk. So if you hear some funny noises, that's her. Her name is Roxy. There we go. Outline my zebra's little feet. There we go. Go, coloring in the hooves. There we go. So now I'm going to color in my zebra's nose, and that's going to go pink. So I'm going to be very careful <clears throat> coloring the pink next to the black because remember the black can kind of smudge into the pink and make it look kind of messy. There we go. And now if you want to add a background, you can. I don't know if I'm going to add a background, but what I might do is I might make like a purple bubble. I'm just going to color it in.
Okay, guys, just coloring this in. Color this in. Ta-da! There you go. There's your zebra. Now, if you want to get super fancy, you can do more and more outlines of those bubbles and color them in. So if I wanted to do that, let's say I wanted to do blue next. I would just follow that line maybe make them bigger and then I color that in So I'm just outlining that. Okay, just finishing coloring in this section. Again, no white spots, just coloring it in. Okay, so now I'm going to do another color. So let's say next I want to do orange. Then I would make an even bigger line that's orange and fill that in. Roxy's being so loud, guys. I'm sorry if you can hear her. She's panting so loud. She won't go lay down in her bed. That was her that just snuffed. Okay, and then I'm going to pick one more color to fill in my background. So maybe that color will be, let's see, let's do yellow. I love yellow. One of my favorite colors.
See how that got kind of muddy? That's because I colored over the black. So there you go, guys. Here is our zebra. I'm just going to outline it in black really thick because I think it'll look really nice to have it pop out a little bit. And by that, I mean it stands out more. So I'm just going to go around it one more time with black. There we go. And there is our zebra. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this art class. And I cannot wait to do art with you all again next week. Until then, see you later. Bye.